But we're joined by a great friend of ours on the show, the lovely Ruth from Celebrity is back. Nice Yay, to see you, Ruth. Lovely to see you both too. Well, last time you were here, mm -hmm. we had one of the busiest shows in our history with we Celebrity. We took the whole show, didn't we? Yes. It was one of the best we've ever done. It was <laughs> incredible. incredible. And, and I gather you've won a few more awards, haven't you, Celebrity? Well, not me, not but you Celebrity no. has, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we've been voted into the top 100 holidays to do by Condé Nast. Oh, wow. I know. And we were voted Cruise Line of the Year at the Travel Industry. Awards just a few weeks ago, oh, meeting everyone. So we are absolutely delighted I, by that. I shouldn't be surprised because I've cruised, I've just booked my next cruise with celebrities. So yeah, <laughs> I do know how good He's you are. He's mentioned you that do. a couple of yeah. times today. <laughs> <hasn't he? laughs> oh, now, Ruth, you're yes. here with some big celebrity news today, aren't you? Well, this has been one of the biggest launches of our lives today at Celebrity Cruises. We went on sale for 2016-17. <gasps> I know for our loyalty guests today and general sale on Friday. And we launched our best ever campaign where we're offering drinks, gratuities and onboard spend. Your choice of any two of those wow. on Ocean View and above. If you book a concierge balcony, we'll give you them all. Oh, that sounds it's it's incredible. It is the best promotion ever. Mm. It really is. It's one that we all love. Now, I was on board the Eclipse um, fairly recently, actually. Yes. She's a beautiful ship. But I gather you're making her even more beautiful. We certainly are. Even though she's only four and a half years old, yeah, we're yeah. already going to be upgrading her. Here you can see her. She was voted best ship sailing out of the UK this year. And that is a massive accolade that we are very, very proud of. Stunning staterooms, be it the penthouse suite or an interior or a balcony stateroom, designed by a team of five ladies. Mm. Another award we won this year, Sean, you'll be delighted with this one. I know how you love our food. We were voted Best Cuisine at Sea by Food and Travel magazine. Gosh. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, I know your food is outstanding. It is exquisite, isn't it? Of course, our lawn club, which you just got a glimpse of there with our gorgeous sunset bar. And, of course, um, the half acre of real growing lawn. But this is one of the new features. This is our new gastro pub. Over 40 handcraft boutique beers, a wonderful wine list, cocktails, and some beautiful snacks and comfort food. I think and this looks this amazing. One? This yeah. is a frozen cocktail bar. It is out at the pool, right in the sunshine. You couldn't wish for a better place. Our casino, I've entitled it A Little Less Las Vegas, A Little More London, <laughs> for our British guests. Mm. And of course, our new portrait studio, which will be brand new as well. And all of this is going to happen in April, so you could be one of the first guests to sail on the all-new Celebrity Eclipse when she arrives in Southampton next May. Oh. Um, Honestly, amazing, she, she's already one of the most beautiful ships in the world, but she now... <laughs> I know, and at four and a half, we're um, already bringing all these wonderful new features to her. But these are the standards that, that celebrities are known for. They're, you know, their five-star standards are incredible. Mm. They really are. Mm. They? Yeah. Beautiful decor as well, it's so contemporary oh, yes. and clean. And, and floor-to-ceiling windows, open beautiful. spaces. Yeah. You never feel as though there's a lot of people around. But we have got the most amazing Scandinavia and Russian crews for you right now. So, Ruth... And Gemma, talk us to, because this is from Southampton, isn't it? Sailing from Southampton. It certainly is, is, so lovely. you've got the ease of that. Um, but, of course, this is where we are going to be giving on Ocean View and above. Uh, and we're giving you a free Ocean View to balcony upgrade. Wow. Oh, so, so this price on the screen is for a balcony? It is. Oh, my work for two weeks now. It is. It? And we're going to give you your choice of two from free drinks... $300 on board spend or free gratuities. Any that two of those. Great stuff. But if you upgrade holiday. to a concierge balcony where you get canopies and sparkling wine, fresh fruit, flowers, then we will also give you all three of those benefits. So you are going to be very well looked after. You are. Um, Southampton, a uh, first day at sea, just to settle into one of the most beautiful ships in the world, and we're making our way over to... Copenhagen. Uh, we are. Yes, and the lovely thing is you've got an overnight on board as well, which means you can really do some great excursions in Denmark, of course, the country's capital. And it's a country rich in lots of Viking history. You've got so many beautiful castles to go and visit, you haven't you, as well? My favourite little thing is the yes. little mermaid you can oh, walk past yes. her 
And also, because we're there overnight, you can visit Tivoli Gardens, Tivoli Gardens which Gardens, really yeah. comes alive at night. Absolutely, they are completely magical and always mentioned when you're looking for things to do in Copenhagen. So they're a must, and definitely with that overnight on board as well, that would be definitely. wonderful. And then, uh, we are sailing off again. You've got another day at sea, and then on day six, you're arriving in Stockholm in Sweden, where one of the best things to do, and probably the biggest tourist attraction is Gamla Stan, which literally means old town. It's just a beautiful neighbourhood. You could see in the pictures all the different colours of the buildings, really vivid, interesting architecture. Just gorgeous just to stroll around and take it all in. And also one of the most beautiful sailings in the world. It's ah, worth getting yes. up early for. It's an archipelago from your balcony, the view is spectacular. And you have got a balcony, of course. Of course, <laughs> yeah. And that's a really, you know, clever tip as well. When you're cruising, that's part of the joy, isn't it? And then on day seven, you are arriving in Tallinn in Estonia, which you were saying earlier, it's become a really up-and-coming place to go, isn't very, it? Really very, very vibrant, and it is one of the hottest new destinations in Europe. Yes, yes. Okay, so it is. It's a very artsy place. There's a lot going on, loads of culture, beautiful old sites to see as well, such as the palace, such as the cathedral. But I think You'll, you'll really enjoy uh, Tallinn. And then we move on, and on day eight, you've got another overnight on board, this time in St. Petersburg. Wow. So I think, I've, I've yeah. never been yet, it's on my wish list. Oh, that's the next one to book, Sean. It, it is, isn't it? It is the <laughs> most incredible city. Yeah, I think you'll really enjoy St. Petersburg. It's a wonderful place. Um, again, so many palaces to go and visit, because, of course, Peter the Great founded it in 1703 and built these sumptuous Tsarist palaces that you can go and have a look around you can take a little river tour in fact and see loads of them if you can't fit them all in in one or two days but there is just so much to do you could even with an overnight go and see the ballet maybe absolutely I, yeah. we do a yeah. short excursion to see the do russian you? ballet we yeah. do it's a wonderful evening not That'd to be, be missed incredibly special uh, another day at sea and then uh day 11 you're in berlin which is one of the most fantastic cities i've been to vibrant so much going on and that's one place there. i've not been to sean i oh. want to go see checkpoint charlie you absolutely <laughs> love I it do. yes exactly there's so much history there as well and then you've got two more days just to chill out and enjoy and, that beautiful ship when, before we get home. When I was last on a celebrity cruiser, um, the cruise director said, we're going to rock till we dock. And seriously, <laughs> they don't sit... <laughs> And we did, you know. We rocked in style. <laughs> we did. Absolutely. You know, everything that, you know, so there last minute, everything was still there. Great entertainment, great food. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the final two days at sea, you will love on this beautiful Yeah, ship. You will. And actually, what's lovely is that it is a very busy itinerary. There are lots of things to see and do, but there are days at sea in between, so you can relax, yeah. recuperate, enjoy your modern luxury. And, and I have, you know, I've been on this beautiful ship and her sister ship, and she is just outstanding. I love everything about about her, Ruth. I'm not just it's, saying that. It's why she was voted best ship saving from the UK, yeah, and there, there are go. a lot of them. Um, it speaks for itself. And I actually hosted a, a, a cruise on this ship, and the feedback from the customers you know was phenomenal. Yes, it really certainly was. was. Yeah, a lot of them have booked to come again this year <laughs> on the fact that they came with you the first time, and now they want to sail with us again and again. Oh, um, Jacqueline. If you've never ever cruised with celebrity, now we've got this brand new promotion that's just been launched. Please take advantage. So let's just remind you of some of the great extras you're going to get. So, free upgrade from an ocean view to balcony. Now, this is the really exciting part. Yes. Choose two from either the free classic drinks package, the free gratuities, or $300 on board spend. The drinks package, Ruth, I mean, for nearly two weeks, that has got to be worth it, hasn't it? It would cost you, uh, for two people, about $1,300. Wow. For that duration of cruise. And, and it covers so many things, as you can see. Uh, spirits, beers, wines, cocktails. But even if you don't drink a lot of alcohol, or any alcohol, it is still incredible value because Cafe Albacho has these beautiful specialty coffees and teas, your sodas, all your juices, bottled water, which you can take ashore on your shore excursions. It includes so much. And of course, your gratuities for all of your drinks are included too. And, and, I, and you know, I have I have tried quite a few drinks packages on the <laughs> on the twenty. Uh... So rumor has it, Sean. <laughs> so rumor has it. No, but I have on. I've been very lucky. I've had you know previously doing twenty cruises, but your oh. drinks package is really. It is the best in the it? industry, it and that's our consumer so feedback. It yeah. is absolutely it's not limited at all. But that's what's so lovely about this campaign is guests can choose. It doesn't have to be the drinks package. If you would prefer to have onboard spend of three hundred dollars and gratuities. We're leaving the choice just to you. And you can go to the spa. 
with your video on board that spend. Would be me. Oh, yeah. That would be me, definitely. <laughs> and, and we have got a very small deposit on this one as well, from yes. £99 per person. That's absolutely right. Certainly. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It really Fantastic. is, isn't it? Yeah. You should, Gem, this should be your next one. I know, Seriously. I know. It really should. You'd love it. I have to be very careful yeah. here because I just want to book everything. I know. <laughs> it's terrible. And, of course, the car parking. Yes, Planet Cruise are going to give all the viewers that book tonight free car parking as well, mm -hmm. on top yeah. of everything else. Honestly, you, you really do need to give us a call for this one.